Hey there, it's David H. Lawrence, the 17th. And just today, uh, there was a posting, it happens quite a bit. There was a posting in my ProConnect group, which is my private uh, group for my, my students and my clients, uh, asking about a new voiceover casting site and whether or not I thought it was worth it or people had heard of it or, you know, should I put my profile up there? And this happens quite a bit. And it happens sometimes as a scam. I'll talk about that in just a second, but it seems like eh, every couple of months, some new uh, casting site pops up that says, oh, we're going to be the best. We're going to we're gonna be the, the, the voice one, two, three killer and the voices.com killer and the breakdown services killer for on camera. And these sites come up and they look great and they want to charge you anywhere between $9 a month to $29 a month to have your you know, have your really good looking profile up there. Um, but sometimes they're a scam. Sometimes they don't have any casting notices whatsoever. And sometimes they scrape casting notices from the sites that those casting notices are published on. There was one site a few years ago that was sued by Breakdown Services because they put up a really good looking site where you could put your profile up and then they started copying and pasting all of the project stuff from Breakdown Services onto their site. And all that stuff is copyrighted. That's all written by Breakdown Services. So they went after them and they're no longer part of it. But then there's also sites like Talent Hunter and um, uh, Explore Talent and Model Mayhem. And there's a few voiceover talent sites like this. And they really prey on the fact that performers... 99% of them aren't doing very much work. And so they want to sort of know or feel at least that they're doing something to move their career forward. So, hey, if there's a new casting site, well, let me put my profile up. Who knows? I might get discovered. No. Here's the problem with most of those casting sites. Most of those casting sites don't have any projects on them. And it's not just the scam sites. It's not just the fly-by-night site. It's not just the the model mayhem type sites and the explore talent sites and the talent hunter sites. I, I'm sad for me to say, but our own union, SAG AFTRA, has a site called iActor and nobody uses it. It's from the union and nobody uses it. And the reason nobody uses it is because there is no project work there. There's no reason for the people that are doing projects, doing television shows and commercials and movies and, and voice projects. There's no reason for them to come and look at it because there's no place for them to post projects for people to audition for. So the reason that Voice123 works so well and Voices.com and uh, Breakdown Services and Actors Access, Badalgo, places like that is people who are looking for voice talent and looking for on-camera talent have projects and they post them there. So when you have the, the perfect storm of a project site and a profile site and somebody willing to pay somebody else to be a part of those projects, that's when it works. But usually when new sites show up or even sites that, that demand, like there's a site that lets you pay a certain amount of money a month so that you can have your demos in your signature, in your email. You can do that all by yourself. You don't need that site to do it. But it's not doing very well because there's no projects there. Nobody knows whether it's working or not. So that's usually the problem. And in this post that happened in the ProConnect group, that was exactly the case. I went and looked at the site. Yeah, it's great. You can put your profile up there, but then you're going to hope and pray that someone is going to come and look at your profile on a site where they can't even post a project looking for people to be performers in. So always ask yourself that question when somebody has a brand new, uh, you know, talent site up that will let you do a really cool way of putting your profiles up and they want to charge you a certain amount of money per month to do it. Usually it's pretty hefty too. Some of them charge between uh, 29 and $49 a month for the privilege of having your profile up on the site. Well, it's just not worth it because there's no pro there's no work there. Put your profile up on breakdown services. There's work there. There's people there looking for you. You know, same with voice one, two, three. Um, so that's the big difference. And that's one of the litmus tests that you can ask yourself when any of these new, awesome, cool looking sites come out. They're like, 
Hey, put your profile up. We'll help you get work. Well, how? How? And my question for you is, have you been taken in by some of these sites? Have you had, uh, you know, the ability to put up a profile to, uh, you know, put up your picture and bling out your profile and all that, and then crickets, nothing, nothing. Or have you had success with some of these sites? Again, that don't have any project work. Like, have you ever gotten work from Model Mayhem or Explore Talent or Talent Hunters? These are all the sites that I kind of make sure that people stay away from because they do a great job of making you look good in terms of your profile, but there's no traffic from anybody who can give you work. So let me know in the comments below if that's something that makes sense to you, if it's something that you've wasted money on, or you feel, maybe you feel it's a, it's a bargain and you disagree with me. I'd love to know. Just leave a comment on the website because that's where the conversation is sane and moderated, not on YouTube. Don't, don't leave comments there if you don't mind. If you'd like to join my list, I'd love to have you. There's a box that says sign up for the mailing list and we'd love to have you on the mailing list so you can find out when these videos come out. You wanna see the latest video I've done? Go ahead and uh, click on that frame and YouTube will play it for you. Next video, Project X. I'm David H. Lawrence, 17. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.